So the whole reason why we use frameworks is to make things easier for us that we want to have easier life during development. So Laravel uh, provides something called Blade and Blade is a templating engine which makes it easier to organize our views into a manageable structure. Okay, so I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment. Okay, so normally a web application has a main template which is shared across a lot of pages. So let's create one template for our application, which is the user creation that we uh, started in the views tutorial. So where we're going to create that is inside views here. So let's create a folder called templates or layouts. So we'll do layouts and in there we'll just say master dot blade dot php. Okay. So the reason why we're calling it uh, master dot blade dot php is that we want to specify that it's um, going to use the blade templating engine. So in here, we're going to define the skeleton of our application. So let's um, open our HTML tags as usual. So we'll do HTML and that um, expands to what you see here. So this is done by the Atom editor automatically. Okay. So we'll say master. Let's give it that title. And inside the body here, we are going to define a section which is going to be page specific. So everything you see in here is going to be the same for every page in our application. The only thing that's going to be different is the section that's inside here. So we're going to do yield and then we're going to do content. So just to recap once more, everything um, outside of this content area is going to be shared across all the pages, but each page will have to specify a content. Okay, so let me show you what I mean by that in a moment. So if you remember in the create.php file that we had initially, um, let's rename that to create.blade.php. Okay, so that file here is going to use that layout. And the way a file uses a layout is by extending it. And how do we extend the layout? All you do is say add extends. And then you say the name of the layout which you want to extend. And in this case, it's in the folder layouts, remember, we have to specify the folder name and then the name of the view. So in this case, master. And remember, we don't need to specify dot um, blade as well under dot PHP. Okay. So that's not all we have to do. We also have to um, specify the section which is going to be specific to just this page. So let me just show you what we're doing here. Um, so I have master. So we want to say that, okay, each page has to define a content section and anytime you create a new page which extends that layout, we have to specify that section. So we say section. And once again, all these at signs are blade um, syntaxes, okay? So section and we say content. And then we have to say at end section. Okay, so let's just um, say put the h2 tag here and say inside section for create user so now let's go back to our browser and refresh and see what we have okay and we refresh and as you can see inside section for create user okay so let's just show that this um, view here is actually extending this master layout so at the body tag here let's just put h2 let's say our first Laravel user management system. Okay, I'll save that back to the browser, refresh. As you can see, we have our first Laravel user management system. Okay, now let's create one more um, page which is going to extend that as well. And we're going to say index.blade.php. Okay, so what's going to be in here is a extend and um, we're going to extend master and then we're going to define a section which is the content section and we say end section and inside there what should we have there we have a list of users so let's say h2 users and let's just uh, have one ul tag let's say um user one and just user two 
just for now um, until we uh, put in dynamic data in there okay go back to the browser refresh as you can see we haven't shown that yet because we uh, do not have an action which returns that view so let's go to our index um, action in the users controller and return that view there so here instead of returning index um, in this array here so if we go to users slash um, index or we just type in users is this all the same thing users we uh, get returned this array here in JSON format but instead of returning an array right now we're going to say view and say index or users dot index okay back in the browser here when we refresh um, we get an error okay so let's see what that error is so it says view master not found okay all right so we forgot to put the layouts here so remember guys you can't reference um, a view just by its name you have to reference it by its folder relative to this view, main views folder here so let's say layout dot master okay let's go back to the browser and refresh and everything should work fine now okay all right so in this users um, index view here what we're doing is we're do displaying static data that is data which is not dynamic so from the action um, of the con users controller let's pass in um, array here and then we're going to loop through the array and I'll show you how to loop through arrays in blade views okay so let's say users equal to array and then each one um, okay let's just pass in names let's not make it anything complex let's say um, name one name two um, name two. okay let's put in something real say Lisa Adam Jake okay so here we're going to pass in this an array and it's going to be users so what we're saying is we're going to pass an array which has a key of users and this value is going to be this array of users okay so we can access that inside our index um, template here through the users variable so how we're going to do is say at for each users as user so let's end the for each as well here so basically in uh, blade if you want to output any uh, variable what you do is you use these double curly braces and close it here and inside there any variable you put there will be outputted so in this case we want to output user and let's put that inside li tags list item styles and we save that Let's go back to the browser and refresh as you can see jake adam and lisa okay so that's not the only um, um control flows you can use in blade there's lots more there's while loops and there's the traditional for loop as well but i urge you to have a look at the documentation um on the official laravel page and you'll see all those in detail okay so next let's see how to include views in another view okay so let's say we have a sidebar so let's say pass let's create another folder here called partials okay and we name it sidebar sidebar.blade.php okay so how do we include that in our index.php um, here um that's very simple all we have to do is let's say let's create something in our sidebar here let's say h3 in the sidebar so inside here all we have to do is at include partials dot sidebar so let's go back to the browser and we refresh and as you can see in the sidebar we have that included there let's move that inside the content here okay so that it uh, output it properly so we want it to be on top of um, just these users here so we refresh and as you can see we have that there but in a normal application you'll have to apply some CSS and um, maybe have that on the right hand side here and the users here but for now I just wanted to show you how we could include those um, 
in, an, in another page. Okay, so now let's take a look at how to um, add comments to views, okay? So let's go back in our um, text editor here, and um, let's say we wanted to put some comments there for the developer of an application. So um, let's, all you have to do is have an um, open curly brace, two of them, just put this dash dash here, and it, whatever's inside there will not be output to the browser. So we can put something like this here. And if we comment that out, now when we go back to the browser and refresh, we won't see the sidebar anymore. Okay, so back to the browser, we refresh. We're not seeing the sidebar and I made a mistake. It come clear that everything is because uh, we have to close it here as well. So now let's go back to the browser and we refresh. And as you can see, the sidebar is gone, but the list of users is there, okay? So that's it guys, that's um, all I have for you for now for Blade Templates and as we're going um, 